All right, where we left off with the last video, I was making 8x10s print ready. This one's a little bit trickier because this does not fit within a pre-cut window size. So instead, I open the image size. I've already flattened it. And I want to um, uncheck resample to make it fit within an 8x10 window. But you see what that did to the resolution. It's just huge, which is a good thing. That means I could print this larger than 8x10 if I want to. So then I think, well, what's the next size up for mats? And that is 11 by 14. But if I make it 14 inches tall, it's still 350, a little bit higher than 350. So that's okay, but it's not 11 inches wide, right? So let me just show you what would happen if I printed it like this and then put it in the mat. And these mats, remember, you can't change. These are the ones that you buy to save money. <laughs> They're already measured out, so it's up to you to print them at the right size to look good. So if I go to canvas size and I make that canvas size 11 by 14 with the white background of the paper, this is what it would look like within the mat. The black here is the mat, and this is the window. It does not look great that you have these white stripes, right? So instead, when I do image size, I would have resample unchecked and I would do less than 14, like let's say 13. Even though it makes my image a little bit smaller, then when I put it in the mat and print it, the mat opening is 11 by 14. It would look like that in the mat. And then that just looks a lot more presentable. Now I'm going to confuse you a little bit more, because even though the mat is sold as op an opening of 11 by 14, and the mat is sold with an opening of 8 by 10, they always overshoot by a quarter inch, right? So that means the opening for 11 by 14 is actually 10 and a half by 13 and a half. And so you can measure it if you like. And eight by 10 is seven and a half by nine and a half. So what is the best way to do it? This is actually differently than I've taught you in the past or have done this demo in the past. What I recommend is you actually set up empty Photoshop files, just like you did for your logos. So this is my print ready black logo file. I'm going to save this as my print ready 8 by 10 matte opening file. So this is like a template, right? As a TIFF. Now this is what's funny, it's as a TIFF with LZW, look at this, including layers will increase file size. That's because TIFFs can support multiple layers. They're just not usually used that way because they're an archive format. It doesn't make sense to have multiple layers in something that you're trying to save space on. But in this case, this is I'm trying to change here, it's going to make sense. So I have my first project here, ready to print. Now let's bring my landscape project in. I bring in my TIFF, I drop it in. I hold down shift and option, just like I did with my logo. And I make it look good within that eight by 10 window. Make sense? Hit return. Now see that that landscape is also a smart object, which means no matter what I do, it will refer to the original resolution to make it look as good as it can within this space. So that kind of solves a lot of my sizing issues. So because this is 8 by 10, but the mat itself is not really 8 by 10, the mat itself is actually 7.5 by 9.5, right? I can change that without affecting the quality of either of these. Assignments down. The problem is, what if I want to print this assignment not at 8 by 10 inches, but at 11 by 14 inches? Well, as long as you keep it as a smart layer, I can go to image size and I can change this. I'm not going to hit resample. And I can change this to um, 14 inches, right? Basically, exactly 11 by 14. The problem is, then the resolution goes below. So, Instead, what I'm going to do is open a new Photoshop file that's for 11 by 14 openings. 
So I'm going to make the width um, 11 inch. Well, actually, I'll do it 10.5 inches. And then the height is going to be 13.5 at 350 pixels per inch white background. Now I can bring that TIFF in. Hold down Shift and Option. And really know that this is exactly how the mat would fit around it. It just means I need to print it on the larger paper and I need to buy a 11 by 14 opening mat, which is 16 by 20 inches on the outside. And I'm going to save this as Carl, always use your name, print ready, 11 by 14 mat opening. Now, I do not require that you guys do the larger size. I require that you have three prints matted in black. If they are five by sevens, that still meets the requirement. I'm just saying what's going to look best for what we designed. Eight by 10 is the cheapest, the easiest, the most straightforward. But this landscape will look a lot better over a little bit more space. Okay, so now I have two assignments. I'm not going to do the 8x10 for the landscape. I am going to do my logo. I'm going to do the 11 by 14 for my landscape. And what's the third project I want to print? I can even go back to exercises, right? So I might go to my, my uh, cartoon jumble. Now, just to be safe, this is my cartoon jumble. It's my final, final project. I am going to say layer, flatten image, if it looks good. Save as a TIFF. That way I don't overwrite my, my PSD file. And I save to the desktop. And I call it print ready. I put that in there somehow just like I have with my other projects. And I always want LZW compression on that. Okay, so these are print ready. They're just not sized yet. There's my landscape, there's my logo, there's my cartoon jumble. Now I go and I go to my um, eight by 10, because I think that's what, how, this, how this will look best. And I bring it in and because it's 350, that's why we make it 350. <laughs> I can even enlarge it a little bit if I think that will look better and I won't lose resolution. That's why we go above the professional standard so that we have the option of enlarging a little bit. You can pick any three of our assignments or... Uh, yes, assignments. you can even print more than three, but I want each of you to print one of your logos so right. you can see what printing a vector is like. And then, yeah, two other examples of what you've finished and are proud of for this first half. Okay. So what do I do with these now? I save them. It is saved as a TIFF. And then if I save these TIFFs, the 11 by 14 and the 8 by 10 TIFFs, then I can actually go to Dropbox, bring those in, and I can print right off of those. Now, why might this be a problem? These TIFFs have layers, right? But they only have at most two layers in them. So I'm telling you right now, they're fine to print from. They don't need to be flattened TIFFs to print from. But if I had eight files that I was going to print to that size, that's probably a little too much. That would slow down your printing needlessly. But for this time, it's a good way to be able to check it and make sure it looks good within your mat size. And that's why I'm always going to help you with printing. So I can be there, back there with you, and make sure it looks good before you pay for paper and print something. All right.